Two boats A and B traveled due north. Initially, B is 50 meters due east of A. The distances traveled by A and B of 30 seconds are x meters and y meters respectively. The angle theta is the radian measure of the bearing of B from A, shows that y is x plus 50 multiplied by cotangent of theta. Uh, to show that we can consider this triangle, it's a right angle triangle. And uh, theta is also here, and this distance is y minus x, it's 50. So if we consider cotangent theta, uh, cotangent it's uh, adjacent leg over opposite leg, so it becomes y minus x over 50, and uh, rearrange it to get that y is x plus 50 cotangent theta as required. At time t, the following conditions are true. B has traveled 10 meters further than A. B is traveling at double the speed of A. It means uh, uh, speed is uh, uh, the rate of change of uh, the distance. So D y dt is 2 dx dt and uh, the rate of change of, of the angle theta is negative 0.1 so also d theta over dt is negative 0.1 find the speed of the boat a at time t uh, so we need uh, dx over dt over dt and uh, uh, these uh, derivatives to arise uh, we can differentiate this expression with respect to t so we get dy over dt, y, x are functions of uh, uh, time and also theta changes, so theta is also a function of time, so it becomes a uh, derivative of x with respect to t, it's dx over dt plus 50, derivative of, uh, cot of Cotangent formula is given in a data booklet. It's cosecant squared theta, and since uh, theta is the function of time, we should apply a chain rule and we should multiply by d theta dt according to the chain rule. And we need this. It is uh, given. And uh, it is also given in terms of dx dt, and we can see that we need cosecant squared theta. What is cosecant? It's 1 over sine squared theta. And if we consider this, we can see that. Uh, sine becomes a square root of y minus x squared plus 50 squared just uh, the Pythagoras theorem and it is also given that b has traveled 10 meters further than a at this uh, at uh, the required moment of time B. So y is x plus 10. So y is, or we can see that y minus x is 10. So hypotenuse becomes becomes the square root of 10 squared plus 50 squared, and we can see that uh, sine sine becomes 50 over this uh, square root or actually 
or actually one over sine becomes becomes 50 and squared uh, so squared and divided by hypotenuse and also squared because sine is squared so it becomes 10 squared plus 50 squared and we can split it and it becomes 0 1 over 5 uh, it's uh, 0 0.2 squared 0 0.04 plus 1 or oh, it's 1.04 hence it becomes dy dt it's 2 dt uh, dx dt and move this dx dt to the left hence it becomes dx dt is 50 multiplied by 1.04 and multiplied by the theta um, over dt it's negative 0 0.1 and it becomes since we need the uh, speed here we should just consider magnitude it becomes 5.2 uh, meters per second and it's uh, the correct answer and we can make absolute value or just consider plus here because we need uh, uh, just magnitude we need speed not velocity uh, minus indicates that uh, rate of change of uh, x uh, coordinate decreases with time so we need just magnitude 5.2 meters per second and that's all for this question